Hagai from Consumer Physics here to show you the SIO applets. On the home screen, you see the SIO applets. Each of these applets provide you with a variety of insights about certain material categories. We're releasing more applets periodically. Let's take the dairy applet as an example. I have a slice of cheese here and a yogurt. I'm tapping the dairy applet and scanning the cheese. Now note that I'm using the optical shade for optimal scanning and I'm practically making contact with the sample. In this case, this slice of cheese has 25% fat and 26 grams of protein in every 100 grams. Now note that if a sample has different parts to it, for example, the cheese itself versus its crust or coating, the insights you get are for whatever you specifically scanned. So make sure you're scanning the right parts. And now I'll scan the yogurt. In this case, because the yogurt is moist, I don't want the optical shade to touch the surface. So I removed it, click the function button, and I scan at about one centimeter or half an inch away from the yogurt without actually touching it. In this case, it tells me it's got 3% of fat and six grams of proteins in every 100 grams. Now let's use the pain relievers applet to identify the active ingredient of this over-the-counter pill. In this case, since pills are typically smaller than the diameter of the illumination area, I'm using the small object holder. This ensures that the table isn't scanned together with the pill and the mirrors on the sides maximize the amount returned from the tiny pill. So I'm placing the pill inside the holder, tapping the pain relievers applet and scanning. Placing SIO on top of the holder with the cover or without it. Tap scan. And you'll see that the magnets hold the SIO in place. So for this pill, the active ingredient is ibuprofen. As I mentioned before, we're adding more applets periodically, so you can expect to see an increasing list of SIO applets in your app. The last thing I'd like to show you is SpectroScan. That lets you scan absolutely anything and get back the unique molecular fingerprint, the spectrum of that object. With it, you can now compare between molecular fingerprints of different materials. For example, did you know that our skin's molecular fingerprint can look very similar to that of cheese? And that's because they're both mostly made up of water, protein, and fat. So two ways to do this. When in the home screen, simply point and scan by clicking on the function button or go to SpectroScan in the menu. So in this video, I showed you the SIO applets and SpectroScan. Hope you enjoyed it.